he can do a piece of work in 80 days now he worked he started working on that piece of work and after working on 10 days he left and then b alone did the remaining work in 42 days now the question is if they had worked together how much time it would have taken so let's find out now he can do the piece of work in 80 days so in one day he will do one upon 80th part of work and in 10 days he will do 10 multiplied by 1 upon 80 which is equal to 1 eighth of the work so we conclude that before he left he did one eighth of the work so what fraction of the work is left with us so if we assume that one is the whole work and one eighth part has been done so we are left with seven eighth of the work seven eighth part of the work and this will be done by B in 42 days. So B will do 7 eighth of the work. 7 eighth of the work in 42 days. If he had done the complete work, how much time it would have taken? Let's find out. We can cross multiply. Let's take x to the other side and we have, let us assume x is the time that b would have taken if he had done the entire work. So let's find out how much time it would have taken. So we have 42 into 8 by 7 which is equal to 48 days. If B had done the work alone, he would have taken 48 days. Now, the question is how much time is A and B together going to take if they do the work together? Let's find out. E completes the work in 80 days. So, in one day, A would complete 1 upon 80th of the work and B would complete 1 upon 48th of the work. Let's find out. Let's take the LCM of 80 and 48. This is 240. And here we have in the numerator 5 plus, I'm sorry. This is 3 plus 5, which is 8 by 240. This is equal to 1 upon 30. So together in one day, A and B will do 1 upon 30th part of the work. 1 upon 30th part of the work will be done. by A and B in one day. So, total time taken by B and A is equal to 30 days. So, together they will do the work in 30 days. So, that was easy.